Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. I am Zach, and I am back for another episode of Real Topics. This is episode six, and today I've got a short list of topics because it's been kind of a slow week for cinema news, but they are interesting, I promise you that. So let's dive on in, brother. Starting us off, it's reported that the Mortal Kombat movie will be rated R, and it will contain fatalities, and to this I say, duh. I mean, you can't have a Mortal Kombat movie without these brutal kills. It just wouldn't be Mortal Kombat. Now, as for the idea of a Mortal Kombat movie, I'm a little iffy on it. I know the ones from the 90s weren't particularly well received. They were kind of cheesy. You know, it was the 90s. But I think there's potential here if they have a good story. Mortal Kombat is not known for its story. It is purely a fighting game with awesome kills and great mechanics. It is most definitely not going to win you any storytelling awards. But that being said, if they have an adequate story and they really go for it, they punch up the action, and they really try to capture the essence of the Mortal Kombat video games, then I could see it being successful. Um, but it's they've just got a, 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 an order of things that they need to get right in order for this movie to go well. Video game movies are tough because... In video games, you're used to being able to choose your every move, and then when you watch a movie, you're confined to just watching a preset series of events. So we'll see how they handle that, but they really have to go for it. I, I want to see somebody's head get ripped off and their spine gets pulled out of their back, or I want to see some some sub-zero kills with cryostasis and, and ice and maybe like ice spears. And then I want to see the classic scorpion get over here with his chain, and, and I just want to see all that stuff. And if they really just go for it. They really try to bring us into a Mortal Kombat game, but on the big screen, then I think this movie can be successful. But that's a lot of ifs. Video game movies, like I said, don't have a great track record, so we'll wait on this and we will see. For our next topic, it's been reported that Don Cheadle has been cast in Space Jam 2, and my thoughts on this are that it kind of more so legitimizes this movie. First of all, Don Cheadle's an incredible actor. He's very respected, and I'm glad that he's attached to this. And second of all, let's face it, even in the original Space Jam movie, Michael Jordan's acting wasn't the best part of it, so you're going to go have basketball players starring in this movie, and they're basketball players, they're not actors, so the acting, you immediately have to assume that it's going to be a weak point. But to have a great actor like Don Cheadle attached to this film now, I think it takes the film up a couple notches, hopefully he'll be able to play a nice role. Uh, maybe the Bill Murray role that, that Bill Murray had in, you know, the, the first Space Jam. Maybe he'll take that place. I was pretty certain that they were going to have Kevin Hart in this. They still might. I hope not. I don't really like that style of humor. And if so, maybe The Rock will have a cameo because that just seems to be how comedy works these days. But I'm excited that Don Cheadle's in this. i uh, definitely a little bit more optimistic about this movie now. And we'll see. I mean, it's still a pretty far a ways out. Um, I think they're filming it right now. And uh, I hope it's good. It's it's a fun idea, you know. You just have an adequate performance by the basketball players would be fine. Then you have the Looney Tunes doing their thing, and then maybe you have Don Cheadle playing a great role. I mean, he's such a versatile actor. He can be hilarious. He can be serious, dramatic. He can be whatever you want. So you roll all that into a movie, and maybe it'll turn out to be good. Moving on, it turns out Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston were not teasing a Breaking Bad movie. They were, in fact, only teasing a new brand of alcohol. And I have to say, I love the guys, but they could have been a lot smarter about this. I mean, on one hand, it was a smart tactic because you immediately garner the interest of pretty much everybody. But on the other hand, you just know that they're going to come out disappointed because you know that they're expecting you to announce or tease a Breaking Bad movie. And when they're given a brand of alcohol, you just they don't really care about that. And then they're going to get angry, which is happening right now. You look at the Instagram post, people are pissed, people are blue-balled. It's, it's, uh, they could have gone about this in a smarter way. Um, so that doesn't mean that this Breaking Bad movie is not happening. I believe it, it actually is. I think it's been confirmed by Vince Gilligan or whatever. And um, maybe we'll get some news about that, some actual news. And I guess we'll just have to wait. And for our last topic, the Lion King remake, live action remake, quote unquote, is not sitting well with critics, not as well as Disney would like at least. It's got a 60% on Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't awful, it's slightly above average, or you want to call it average, depending on your grading system. On IMDb, it has a 5.3 out of 10, and on Metacritic, it only has a 57%. 
and honestly, good. This is good, because Disney is clearly just remaking these classic animated movies for a simple cash grab. That's all it is. They're just trying to make an easy buck. I've heard this movie looks good visually, but it lacks the heart of the original Lion King. But, man, I just don't like all these Disney remakes. I've not gone to see any of them. I kind of pride myself on that. I'm just generally against this this trend that they're doing. They're gonna, because they're gonna, re they're gonna keep doing it. They're going to keep doing it until people stop going, and they just know that that's never gonna happen, and it probably won't happen. People love their Disney movies, and Disney knows how to work their audience. So, yeah, I mean, if there is a Disney classic movie that I want made into a live action movie, maybe it would be Hercules, because I just love Greek mythology, and we don't really get a lot of Greek mythology movies. So you can have that one, Disney. I will let you have that one, but no others. Please stop, for the love of God, please stop. And that'll do it for Real Topics this week. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, whatever. It's all up to you. This is a free country. So I'm Zach. See you later, folks. Bye. Did you just say bye to yourself, Zach? Oh, you freaking idiot.